Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a bit of a witchy haul that I've gotten from Amazon, uh, several shops on Etsy, and a local to me store, creative space is what they call it, um, that sells crystals and stuff like that. So, um, I've been stuck in the house for almost two months now, just pretty much like everybody else. You know, we've got about a week until the governor of my state starts to lift the state home order. But, um, so we're, we're slowly getting there. Um, in the beginning I was lucky I had a lot of work to do, so that was a great distraction. And then lately it's been nothing but, um, end of graduate semester, so it's been a little crazy. So, shopping. So, I uh, just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I got. So... Got this off of Amazon. It is a bronze candle sniffer because I did not have one. I've been blowing out my candles, um, which some people definitely frown upon. Um, so I got a nice little candle sniffer. Um, I also got some copper incense holders from Amazon and I will link, so anything that I mentioned below, if I can, I'll link it in the, sh in the description box. So, this is mostly for my travel altar box, but these are, um, to do copper incense uh, holders. So we've got three different types. We've got one that'll sit straight up. We've got this one. And this one holds either sticks or you can set a cone on top of it. So that is for my little travel altar box. Figured those might be handy for when I uh, go on trips. I also got this, uh, I believe this is 24 by 24 altar cloth. So it, it's kind of big. It's bigger than the desk that I'm sitting on. So. This also goes in my travel box. Um, next, we're going to get to some of the stuff I got from Etsy. So, the day you're watching this, it is Beltane. And so, I went ahead and I ordered um, some Beltane tea from Serpent Moon. This is the business card. Ordered it from Etsy. Um, I have not tried it yet. Um, I did share some of it with uh, my coven sister who also loves tea. So that's the only reason this is open because I wanted to film this video first. And I was waiting for it to be Beltane, which happens to be today. I also got some Beltane incense. Some uh, loose incense from Iceland's Treasures. I think that's how it said. So it's got orange star, uh, it's got orange star anise, frankincense, lavender, raspberry leaf, rose Texas mountain laurel, um, and I think that there's a stone in here. What it looks like, it literally just came in the mail today. So, but yeah, I will link this shop down below. I wanted to try loose incense because I don't have any. I am also a collector of stickers um, for my planner and stuff like that. Um, so the first shop is Crafty Nature. And I ordered five, I think there's five Witchy Woman stickers for me and my coven sisters. Um, sometimes when I find something I really like, I share it with the ladies in my coven. Um, so this is one of those things. This, oh, this goes, um, with this. Um, and then from Wilson Wild, Wild Sticker Co., I got some Sabbat stickers. Um, these are a little bit smaller than I thought they were going to be, um, which is on me, but that's fine because these are going, oh, I didn't bring those in here. 
Um, I have uh, traveler's notebooks inserts that I use one for each of the Sabbaths to document what, uh, like, what happens, um, whether I do specific crafts, stuff like that. Um, so these are going to go on the inside to mark the days. That just goes in there. Next is I got this giant sticker. It's going to go on my book of shadows. It says, we are the granddaughters of the witches you weren't able to burn. Got this from this Etsy store. Then, oh, that goes with that. The last set of stickers I got was another set for my um, Sabbath books. These ones are much bigger. These ones will go on the cover from Ashwood Arts. And you can see her shop, their shop name right there. So pretty excited about these. All right, so next is stuff from my local store called Pressed. They, um, well, they have a storefront downtown in my town. Um, they've been doing everything online. Um, and then Fridays are curbside pickup days. If you live local and you don't want to wait for shipping, um, they do weekly crystal live sales uh, on Instagram. And I'll put a link to that below. But I got some stuff like I always do. So the first thing I got was two... Amazonite tumbled stones and they always give you these awesome little cards So we have two really pretty Amazonite I want to use them in a prosperity spell Next is something that I did get one for each of my coven mates It is I got five you hear that five tumbled emeralds emerald tumbled stones for my coven mates and I. Like I said, sometimes I just like to collect things to give to them. That's just kind of the person I am. I like, I see things and they make me think of certain people and so I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna buy it for that person. Not because I have to, but just because I want to. All right. I have a decent sized crystal collection, which you guys should see soon. I'm doing a, right after this, I'm filming a Beltane altar tour and sacred space tour. So that way you guys can kind of see how things are set up. But you will see a lot of these crystals in that tour. So I do have a Carnelian Palm Stone. It is, I like the different shades. I like the darkness and then the light. And this particular store, I feel like all their crystals are incredibly reasonably priced. This is not that. Oh, Carnelian goes over there. This is a small dark citrine point. So it is very small and cute. I needed citrine. I didn't have one for my collection. So I actually asked the store owner, Ashley, to pick one out for me. Um, the cool thing is, anytime you do, you participate in the Crystal Live Sale, you always get a free gift. And this week, my free gift is a piece of raw, dark citrine. It's really hard to see. Let me try that. But this is a piece of raw, dark citrine that I got as a freebie. Which is always nice. They always do this. Kind of to say thank you for your support. I've gotten amethyst. I've gotten a bunch of different stuff because I, I order from these guys all the time. The next thing, which was the main point of this week's Wednesday live sale, was this gorgeous piece of clear quartz with inner childs. So if you aren't aware, an inner child is basically when a crystal grows inside of a crystal, which I'm blinding myself with that light. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but right about here are some little crystals and some on this side too. 
over here. So it's not really focusing. There we go. Maybe it will now. So over here on this side, there are some inner childs right there. And it's just a gorgeous piece of clear quartz. So that was the main that was the main crystal they were selling in this crystal live sale. And then to um, support local business here in my town, I bought some Sage Harvest Teriyaki Beef Jerky. Now, I love beef jerky, but, excuse me, I've noticed that certain kinds of beef jerky really upset my stomach. So ones that have the like no added MSG and no preservatives and stuff does not upset my stomach, so I can still eat it. So I bought this from my local store, uh, local pre uh, the local creative space is called Pressed, PressedNC.com. They have a whole bunch of really cool stuff, um, including crystals, tarot decks, sage bundles, uh, sage sprays, stuff like that. But they also like to sell local handmade stuff including this beef jerky. So I'm pretty excited to try it. They were talking about it in the middle of the live sale and I was like, hey, can you throw some in my bag? So they did, I'm pretty excited. And the last thing is not something I bought. It was a nice little gift from my local crystal community. One of the ladies in my local crystal community, uh, she goes by Flutterflies on uh, Instagram. She recently started making some dandelion salve and she drops them off at Pressed to, I'm not gonna show her name just because I don't know if she wants to. This is her Instagram name. But she said, enjoy some salve on me. She made it specifically for me. She gave some to a lot of the girls um, that participate, girls, ladies, individuals, women, whatever, whatever they identify as. Um, I just, most, most of them are women. There, there actually is one guy. Um, Greg, and then John, who is the co-owner of Pressed, but it is mostly women. We have a great little community where we, everybody looks forward to Wednesdays, because that's when we do our Crystal Live sales on Instagram, and we all get together, we talk. So the other day, not this past Wednesday, but last week, um, I jumped on the Crystal Live sale, didn't think anything of it, and I didn't look to see what account I was on because I have a personal account, which is just my everyday stuff, and then I have a witchy account, which will be linked in the description box. But I had logged in under my personal account, and I was commenting on something, and John called me by my name. Which most people doesn't don't think is weird. But it was weird because they only ever call me by part of my witchy handle, which is witchy. Like, this is what everybody in there calls me, is witchy. John and Ashley know my real name, and it's not that I don't want to go by my name, because I don't care if you call me by my name, um, but it was just, it was weird, because they never call me Jen, which is my name, they always call me Witchy, because it's part of my handle, and I was like, oh, that's because I'm logged into the wrong account, so real quick, I hopped off, logged into my, uh, the regular account that I'm on for these live sales, and I was like, hey guys, sorry about that, I was on the wrong account, and Flutterflies was like, yeah, I was starting to wonder where you were, because you're always here. So it was just a funny story. Um, she's, Flutter was like, I was about to call a health and welfare check on you, because you weren't here. Which, is, it's very weird. I'm there every week, regardless of whether or not I buy something. Um, I'm just, I, I go for the community, and occasionally the crystals, you know. Um, Pressed is a huge huge proponent of my crystal obsession because they just have some of the coolest stuff like she finds the coolest things like this clear quartz with inner child it was just phenomenal and it was not super expensive you're not gonna focus again there we go it was it was it was really evenly priced all of their stuff is their tumbled stones are usually three to four dollars these ones because they're decent size I mean, so this is the tin for the dandelion salve that Flutter made me. That's the size of their tumbled stones. Really, really reasonably priced. You'll see a large, you'll see a huge part of my collection in the Beltane Altar Tour, which hopefully will be up later today. We'll see. So yeah, 
thanks for stopping by and checking out my little crist mostly crystal haul and sticker haul. I love watching witchy haul videos, so uh, I wanted to share one with you guys. Alright, until next time, bye bye.